ready. Ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Reflex. 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 Trouble, a couple of the contenders, Burton and Harvick involved in a crash and now others swept into it. There's Stephen Wallace spinning. Just like we saw early in the race, this 29 car just turned around right in front of traffic. Stephen Wallace involved, a lot of cars involved in this. Kevin Harvick, one of the contenders, is in it. Yeah, Harvick has a lot of damage to his car. There's Stan Barrett. 61 car also, in over his hand. also spinning Brandon Witt. There's the 61 car. The damage on the back of the car just got back on the lead lap a moment ago. Just kind of hold your breath on these restarts because these cars are so twitchy with new tires and full of fuel. And there's the damaged car of Kevin Harvick. Maybe the best chance he has had in his career driving his own car to get a win. But that will go away. Once again, Andy, I think as much as anything, they don't have tires on him. You see Burton just get loose right there. He tries to keep it off of Justin Allgaier, but slides right up in front of Kevin Harvick. Yeah, the thing is, they didn't have new tires, but they did have a full load of fuel. fuel yeah. and, they, and they're around so much traffic, and this air has got stirred up so much that... Uh, it's really a tricky part of the race when they start have these restarts. Yeah, and you've driven cars before. You know that when you put that full load of fuel, most times you do it just out practice and just how much it changes your race car. We see right, right here from Harvick's on board. So Jeff Burton's car just gets loose. Damn. We got it, boys. Once again, we're talking about some of the best drivers in the world. These are cup guys that are losing this. Three-time winner here. Jeff Burton, and here's the chain reaction behind these cars spinning. There's the contact, 6107 of David Green, Stephen Wallace. Morgan Shepard does a great job to miss this. You see a ton of cars involved. Eric McClure, nice job going down pit road to avoid it. The 24 car, here's McClure. Got a wreck off of four, wreck off of four. Come down pit road. Come down, come on, come on. Good job. See, Burton is trying to get back out here. He's got a little bit of damage to the left side, but Harvick's car looks like it's damaged too much. He's going to come to the garage and try to fix it. Yeah, once again, one of the best cars uh, with Kevin Harvick. He's just in over his head. Got to drive in a hunk of junk. He's trying to make something happen. That's how Kevin feels about the situation. Yeah, he's a little frustrated because uh, he had a great car. And you know, he saw Jeff Burton just lose it in front of him. Nothing he could do. I mean, he just yeah. had, had nowhere to go. Great car, one capable win, and plus it's his stuff. He, yeah, yeah he got right to check. Yeah, yeah and it, uh, they talked about it being a nice little anniversary present for Kevin and Delana Harvick. Not going to happen. Back in the garage. Here's a 31 car, Stanton Barrett. He was involved in that chain reaction behind. Right front fender peeled away. Nine caution flags, folks, here for 38 laps, two red flags. There is last year's championship crew chief talking about the damage on the 29 car, Dan Deeringhoff. And uh, meanwhile, Stephen Wallace is headed to the garage area. We'll update uh, some of their frustrations in a moment. Here's what caused the latest yellow, the twitching 29 up across the track right in front of Harvick. And it all broke loose behind him. A lot of people bet a $60,000 race car today here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway <laughs> and have lost. Yes. It's been a rough yeah. day for a lot of teams in today's 300-mile NASCAR Nationwide Series race, and we're only halfway through. I am rescinding the bet that we had earlier. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm really surprised. It's been a uh, tough, tough day, especially in particularly on the restarts. A lot of guys tearing up some great race cars, and uh, we're seeing a lot of our contenders for the championship this year going by the wayside. Kyle Busch already out. Carl Edwards is a lap down from a flat tire, and that's the least of the problems today. You see Kevin Harvick look like he had a potential winner getting his car repaired in the garage area. Jeff Burton just involved in the crash that brought out the caution flag a second ago. 
It has been difficult today on the best in the business. Even Greg Biffle in that 16 yeah. car, the leader, has had a penalty and has had to dig all day to get back to the front of it's the pack. It's been unbelievable. When we get back, I want DJ to explain to us a little bit on that, that car of uh, Jeff Burton, how it just snapped loose so quickly when it was sliding like that, uh, what he thinks happened there, because that was really, really, uh, like, it's incredible. While the cleanup continues, let's hear from Kevin Harvick. Shannon? Alan, of course, one of the veteran drivers in today's race. We've seen so many guys have issues. What's your opinion as to what's happening out there today? Uh, there's just a lot of cars spinning out. Um, you know, 29 wasn't all that good, and he just got up in there and got himself in a bad spot and spun out. And unfortunately, we were the ones that hit him, but I just want to thank all these Ream tankless water heater guys. They did a great job. And had a car capable of winning the race, but um, wasn't meant to be. Kevin, you guys are working on the car right here. Do you think you'll be able to get out on the racetrack? I don't know. All right, disappointing day for Kevin Harvick, guys. All right, so uh, very difficult day, not only for Harvick, but for a lot of the big names in today's NASCAR Nationwide Series field. Uh, and still a lot of racing to go. 92 laps left in this one. Greg Biffle is the race leader. You've got Michael McDowell second, Denny Hamlin third, David Reagan is pitted right behind our ESPN pit studio. Yeah. He's been on pit lane about what, 15 times? At least 16,000 times. Every race. time I turn around, he's sitting here behind us. And he's in fourth place. <laughs> Doc, I, yeah, I guess you just can't figure how this, this thing's going to play out in these final 150 miles or so, huh? We uh, await the restart, which comes up a little less than a lap from now. Scott Legacy, another guy who's had some problems but has overcome them so far. Having a great run, Dave. Mesh is primary car in qualifying with this backup car, Paul, and a lot of attrition. Uh, you guys are looking like you might have a shot at uh, moving up to the top five here. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, Scott's done a good job in uh, rebounding from the wreck in qualifying. You know, the, the good thing was this car we raced last week, so we were confident in what it could do. And, um, you know, we're just I told him we need to look at the big picture here. And, um, you know, we don't. You know, it's a good day for us to gain a bunch of points and, and bring the car home in one piece. If, if, if we got to give up a couple spots to do that, that's just big picture what we're looking at right now. So, all in all, real happy. The guys have been good on pit road all day, and um, we're just excited uh, about what he's doing out there. Really good day considering where they started, Doc. In a backup car at the back of the pack, and now Scott Legacy Jr., one of the impressive rookie drivers, coming off his career best 12th place finish last week at California. Well, the Biff will lead him down. Michael McDowell behind him, Denny Hamlin, David Reagan, and Jason Keller to top five. Now, how many laps of green are we going to get? But, you know, some people might wonder how Biffle can go out there and run. We see these guys getting sideways back here again. But uh, he doesn't have that full load of fuel like these other guys. They stayed out there. He, Denny Hamlin, that you see there uh, in the 20 car. Denny Hamlin spun out earlier in the race. Here he is back in second spot. Yeah, well, we saw them be on, they were on pit road making some adjustments, big adjustments to the car to look, look like to tighten him up. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got it just right, but he's got the spot now. He's in second spot. I'll tell you who is really looking good, and I know Biffle's really strong, but Justin Allgaier has to be looking and thinking, what, this is my opportunity to win my first race. Yeah, the key here is to keep him out of trouble now the rest of the way because he does have a great car, and we see great race car drivers wrecking, them, wrecking themselves. That is Allgaier in the 12 car up high, Denny Hamlin the 20, McDowell the 47, Reagan the 6, and let's update uh, Hamlin. Dave. To answer your question, guys, the car is much better according to the driver. They can make it on one more stop. I'm sure we'll see him on pit road. There's the progression. Denny Hamlin as far back as 38. Again, this is his very first start of the year in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. A four-time winner uh, in 2008. Two wins in the 20 car, two in the 18 car. You see Biffle's pulled away from this pack just a little bit here. He's got about a second lead over Denny Hamlin in the 20. It's a good spot. That 12 car just needs to ride right there for a little while, stay out of trouble, and as, uh, as the race wears on here just a little bit, he can pick these spots off. But try not to get in trouble here. Yeah, I'm not sure how much riding he's going to do, though. This young man, I think, knows he has a really good race car. He's going to be in. You're right, Andy. He could really do himself well by sitting there following Denny Hamlin for a while and, and then getting to that last pit stop where they're going to put tires back on it and see what he has then and let him go race. 
while you watch this uh, action up for second position, we'll mention that Carl Edwards, who uh, had brought out the caution flag with a cut tire, is now in position to get the lucky dog. He is uh, the 60 car, and now is the first car a lap down in 16th position. Yeah, he had to pass about five cars that were also a lap down to get in that position, but he's already uh, disposed of those guys and got himself in that position should we have another caution, which the way that this first 114 <laughs> laps are going. I think chances are good we'll get far away. Yeah. 